It's been more than five months since the current pandemic has taken root, yet a lot of people are still claiming the COVID-19, or coronavirus as it's known, to be just another seasonal influenza. It is people like this that are the reason why the coronavirus was not taken seriously to begin with. As of April 4th, 2020, infected over a million people and claiming over 53,000 lives worldwide in less than four months. With the good majority of these casualties happening within the past two months. The people claiming the coronavirus is not a serious threat are the same kind of people who claim that I was fear-mongering when I spoke out against the danger of the virus months ago when everyone else was lollygagging about. Experts warned us already four months ago that the coronavirus could claim millions of lives in one year and that the current phase we may well be looking at reality here. The spread of the virus is severe, up to four times more infectious than influenza and over a hundred times deadlier. A common argument from the so-called COVIDians or deniers is how the coronavirus is just as deadly, if not less so, than influenza. However, according to statistics published by the World Health Organization, between 290,000 and 650,000 people die yearly from influenza. It is important not just to look at the deaths, but how many people are infected and how many people die from it. Seasonal influenza has a fatality rate of less than one quarter of 1%, while coronavirus is 4.9% higher than even the Spanish flu pandemic, which only had a fatality rate of 2%. In order to understand, we must do simple maths so that we can realize just how serious this really is. It's hard to estimate on a world basis how many really get influenza. But the numbers range from 5% to 20% of the world. We know that the world today has 7.8 billion people in it, give or take. Out of those 5 to 20% of people who get influenza, we are looking around 290,000 to 650,000 deaths yearly. This means if we really assumed a per capita, we would have 42 per 100,000 sick people dying yearly at its worst. While COVID-19 pandemic has really just been out there for four months, the numbers are far grimmer. As of the 4th of April 2020, the coronavirus is killing 52, 53 per 100,000 infected. Let us sit back and contemplate this for a second. This number is 125 times greater deaths per 100,000 cases than compared to the seasonal influenza. If there are people watching this video thinking to themselves, somehow it's still just another flu, let's take another look at this devastating pandemic. The Spanish flu of 1918, the Great War, had been uh, ravaging the world for four years, and now the world has to fight a deadly pandemic. Remember, the world was a very different place back then than it is today. People very rarely wash their hands themselves or their homes. Healthcare was still in its infancy, and qualified deferred soap was still a luxury item only the rich could afford. Disinfection was still relatively a new concept and hospitals were crowded. Out of an estimated 500 million people of whom were infected by the H1N1 virus of a type influenza disease, it is estimated that between 17 million to 100 million people died because of it. Understandably, in times before healthcare was seen as a basic necessity and statistics were hard to come by. We can only do guesswork today, as the information age did not exist in these times. But even so, we could still plot data on how deadly the Spanish flu compared to the coronavirus of today based on what we know. Of 3,400 per 100,000 cases at the lowest estimate to the highest realistic estimate of 10,000 per 100,000 cases, the coronavirus sits in the middle with its 5,000 per 100,000 cases, 
Now you must understand that the year 2020, the healthcare of today is vastly superior to the healthcare of 100 years ago. Yet we are looking at a similar death ratio to the estimates of the Spanish flu pandemic. And yet we have people who deny the threat of the coronavirus like it's some kind of conspiracy. covid is may be a silly term, but these people are a genuine danger to society. Not only do they deny the threat, they intentionally cause harm by breaking strict quarantine rules and spread false information, which can lead to people with lesser knowledge to underestimate the situation we find ourselves in. China, Taiwan, South Korea, Japan prove again and again that the facial mask does indeed reduce infectious spread dramatically. Yet in the West, we are completely ignorant. People claim the facial mask does not work and makes you look silly. However, they do not understand the purpose of the mask is to prevent the spread from sick people. This has always been the entire point of the mask. This is why in countries like South Korea, Japan, sick people wear masks. It's always been a common knowledge in these high population countries. But in the West, people are spreading false information. Even Western media is known to spread lies and false information regarding how to deal with the coronavirus going so far as to downplay the situation multiple times when it was just starting to spread, causing more harm than good. In Italy alone, it has spread more cases than in China, while China may indeed be hiding some numbers. The West is finding itself more busy blaming China for the entire coronavirus situation, rather than to admit the West's own mistakes for not taking it more seriously. The DPRK closed off their borders already by January. Why? Because they knew how serious it was. Perhaps if Westerners were not so busy thinking about themselves and hoarding toilet paper, we would not be in this situation right now. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.